Ben Kalos. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Vanessa Gibson and uh, Chair Ku uh, for holding this uh, joint hearing. I'd like to acknowledge uh, Councilmember Barron, who's just joined us. Also like to acknowledge, uh, re-acknowledge uh, my uh, colleagues from Staten Island, the great borough for as long as it remains a borough, uh, to the extent they may be successful. Uh, Council members Matteo and Borelli, I will continue to acknowledge them until we, we lose them to, to their desire to secede. Uh, I'm Council Member Ben Kalos. I'm chair of the city's council's committee on contracts. Uh, for those of you who are watching at home or via live stream, please feel free to participate in this hearing by tweeting at Ben Kalos. Uh, we're also joined by uh, the fourth estate. We've got Rich Calder from The Post and Yoav Gonan from the city. Uh, anyone who is watching and people from the uh, media, feel free to email contracts at Ben Kalos with any questions and we're happy to pass them along. Uh, Chairs Kuhn and Gibson have already given an overview of the Parks Department Capital Division and its $3 billion portfolio. And I'd like to re reiterate the efficiency of the uh, Parks Department Capital projects. Uh, for me, it is more personal than it has ever been before. I'm, I'm crammed in a one bedroom with my wife and a 21 month old daughter. And the days we do not get to a park are the days that, oh my God, what happened to our house? Uh, she will literally bounce off the walls and tear the house apart. And I, I, every, whether it's raining, snowing, or ridiculously cold, we are out in our city's parks uh, with every other family with small children. And uh, it is when these parks are in bad condition that we generally hear about it, or even worse yet, somehow, uh, worse than a park in, worse con in bad condition is a park that is closed for construction. Uh, I think one of the things we've been working with my constituency around is that it does take construction to get a new park uh, in. Uh, but uh, that being the case, uh, when you have 168,000 people on the Upper East Side, where we are the fourth from the last in terms of open space per person, per capita, we just do not have the spark park space. And uh, oftentimes kids are waiting in line to use equipment. And at least in the 80s, we've got one park. It's Carl Scherz Park Playground. Uh, that's currently under construction. And uh, we're, it's a 12 month timeline and we're, uh, we, we I, I will want the date for our monthly call-in because we do need to keep that on track because God knows my child needs a place to play as do every single parent that I'm hearing from every single day. A recent report from the Center for Urban Future found that most projects take 29 to 45 months from approval to ribbon cutting an amount of time which is just far too long. I only serve for 96 months and you're talking about an entire term just to get one park done. Additionally, a recent city controller audit highlighted DPR's poor oversight record over construction management firms that it employs. In the audit, a mere 39% of projects run by construction management firms were completed on time, resulting in cost overruns of $4.9 million in fees for the department from 2010 to 2016. The controller credited permit delays, incomplete records, and flawed initial designs with these delays and ultimately determined that a park's inadequate oversight and monitoring that permitted these delays and resulting cost overruns to occur. Accountability is key when dealing with capital projects of this magnitude and up until recently has been severely lacking at parks. While we on the committee commend the recent reforms made by Commissioner Silver and his team, much remains to be done to get parks capital process back on track. Parks needs to continue implementing new streamlining measures, including standardizing uh, to the extent it's possible to standardize designs, I, I, I will just, I, I know speed is important, but what we've seen in my district is we take a very long time on design and then we get exactly the same park we had before uh, with none of the new cool equipment that we see in some of the conservancy parks on the west side, which has caused a lot of envy. And it's created situations where parents are actually trekking across town to go to the newer, nicer conservancy par playgrounds. And I think that our parks department can do just as well, if not better. Uh, we can also expand pre-qualified contractor lists to increase competitions and use design build whenever possible. Additionally, while we are assured parks will today highlight the measure it has taken to expand contracting, I, I would like to highlight the issue of uh, minority and women 
owned business, MWBE, uh, via your expense contracts. We'd like to know what data is available regarding MWB contracting on Parks Capital Projects so we can garner more complete overall pictures of Parks' progress towards meeting the mayor's stated goal of 30% MWBE procurement. Uh, by way of uh, some, I'm just going to give four examples from my district. Uh, the first one starts uh, when I was eight years old in 1989. The Sutton Place Park uh, was supposed to be returned to the city of New York. It was not returned until 2011, uh, long before it even started running for city council. It was approved by the Public Design Commission in 2013. Work didn't even start until 2017, and uh, it's, uh, in 2019 it was open to the public, but it has not been deemed complete enough for a ribbon cutting. Uh, so, so there is an example of a uh, parks project that actually took almost as long as I've been alive. Uh, another example is Andrew Haswell Green. It was funded in 2008 when I was Chief of Staff to then Assemblymember Jonathan Bing. I was there for the groundbreaking. And uh, fast forward <laughs> almost 10 years and uh, to the uh, winter of uh, 2017, uh, right after I had been reelected, uh, this project didn't get done during Assemblyman Bing's term. It didn't get done. Uh, during, it, it got done in the, when I had one month left in my first term, uh, almost 10 years later, uh, and much of my career had already gone by. Uh, another example is uh, John Finley Walk. Uh, it's 452 feet long ramp in my district. Uh, we started with fun, fully funded in 2015. It was improved by Public Design Commission in 2015. It was supposed to take 18 months. Uh, it didn't get done until after I was reelected in 2017, and I will tell you, every day I went to that park, constituents put up signs saying, vote against Ben Kalos because this ramp still hasn't been done. Uh, and I want to thank the parks for finally getting it done in 2017. It almost took until 2018. And I know that the commissioner and many parks employees almost got frostbite, uh, but this is another example. My last example is uh, when I got elected, I inherited a report that said that the parks uh, esplanade in my district running from the 50s to the 100s uh, needed over $100 million in work. We secured a, a, in order to stop it from falling into the river. That's literally what the report said. I came and I uh, said we needed to do something about it. And we secured $35 million to get it done. And then it literally fell into the river in 2017 while I was running for re-election. Uh, it was something that my opponents took incredible delight in. We actually broke ground that summer. We were able to finally move that capital dollars, but it literally took my entire first term. And then it was supposed to be done 18 months later in 2018. That project still isn't done. Literally, the, the, it is still ongoing uh, years later, and uh, I think we're looking at a, a projected completion date in winter 2020, and the problem is we've asked, and we don't know if winter 2020 means January or February or November, December. Uh, so I think these are all some of the concerns that we've been dealing with on an ongoing basis. Uh, I'd like to thank our contracts committee staff, legislative counsel Alex Polinoff, policy analyst Casey Addison, uh, finance unit head John Russell, as well as my chief of staff Jesse Townsend, legislative director Wilfredo Lopez, for all their hard work putting this hearing together. Uh, we've uh, been joined by council members Rivera, Levine, Moya, and Yeager, and I'd like to now uh, turn it over to the committee council to swear in the uh, Parks Department. Uh, con uh, the council would swear in administration. Uh, 